So I just wanted to do a quick video about my favorite ballpoint pen, or in that case, my favorite ballpoint refill. Uh, it's an interesting topic because so many pens like this Parker Jotter still use ballpoint refills, but on the whole, a lot of pens have moved over to hybrid and uh, gel ink style. Good example, that would be this Oto Rays. It looks just like a Parker Jotter, but it has a hybrid ink inside of a Parker style G2 refill. So looks like your standard everyday pen and has a standard everyday ballpoint style cartridge, but it actually uses a hybrid ink. And you know, as you look around at other common pens that people use every day, like this Jetstream, it actually uses a hybrid ink, not a ballpoint. Uh, that said, some pens still do use ballpoint, and they're really good under some some circumstances. Uh, they're just you know very versatile and very affordable. This Jotter is a prime example, but also uh, something like this Schneider Slider Rave XB, which is kind of like a European pen, uh, uses a ballpoint. This Bolograph Epaca, popular pen, I believe in Sweden. Uh, uses a ballpoint and there's a lot of options I pulled aside a few here uh, obviously these little refills these are called D1s they are generally ballpoint not always and uh, just to rewind ballpoint meaning uses an oil based ink as opposed to a water or a hybrid ink some other ballpoint cartridges you may see, this one from Bolograph, a Monteverde, Rotring, Space Pen, Parker Quink Flow, there's that Schneider, it's called the Slider 755XB, and the Schmidt P900. So the hybrid version that looks like this would be the Schmidt Easy Flow 9000, which I'm a really big fan of. But once you move over to the P900, you're using an oil-based ink as opposed to a uh, hybrid. So out of my favorites, it actually turns out that this Schmidt is really a great, great refill. And uh, I'll pop it in this Jotter. I tend to use the Jotter in the, with the Easy Flow 9000. We'll move it over to the P900 and take a quick look about how that writes and why a ballpoint is preferable under some circumstances. So first of all, this is the uh, Write in the Rain. This is a waterproof notebook. It uses like a plasticized waxy paper that a lot of pens will not take to, just like a hybrid ink will just smear. Uh, but if you're using a ballpoint, it will, we'll give it a shot. So this is the ballpoint P900. So no problem writing on that. If we use something like this, get this tied down, this Oto raise. you could see it, uh, smears very easily and it the watery like hybrid ink doesn't have the friction to get a good line on the paper where the oil-based ink you need to apply more pressure but there's no problem there again that's the typical trade-off with the ballpoint is you need to apply more pressure to write so it's not as smooth but it'll pick up on uh, all sorts of surfaces. Like here's a plastic bag that the Schmidt refills came in. And with some pressure, you should be able to write on this with no problem or, you know, some problems, but. So not ideal, but like obviously a plastic bag is not a great source, uh, not a great material for writing on. And we'll see what's lying around. Uh, here's that easy flow. 
and this one like just the hybrid will barely pick up on there and these things are won't smear the P P900 won't really smear and the easy flow comes right off again P900 ballpoint some you know you're losing it a little bit and this one still very smeary so the ballpoint has some serious advantages when you're using it on like a unreliable surface again like a glossy magazine or plastic so ballpoints are not as smooth and require more pressure but they are definitely a really nice option and very versatile day to day so they have their place uh, this is the paper from the Schneider and this is a really nice refill uh, it's not my favorite but it's a good way to go so if you're looking to experiment and get a really nice solid ballpoint refill in a G2, I would recommend that Schneider or the Schmidt P900 ballpoint. Nice blue color, nice solid lines. Look at, at next to the Easy Flow. E Easy Flow is a smoother writer. There's no question about it. And actually, I feel like the color difference is a little hard to pick up, but it is noticeable. And then I'll just do two quick lines with the Schneider. Can't really tell the difference, especially not in this light. But uh, the moral of the story, if you're looking for a great ballpoint refill, check out that Schmidt P900. If you want something interesting, check out the Schneider. I don't think it's quite as good, but definitely gets the job done. Thanks for watching.